Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Good morning. Good, good. How are you? Good. How are you? Good, thank you. Um, yeah, um, I couldn't make it today. But it's a good thing that we have uh, remote classes so we can still hold our class. Uh, give me a few minutes. Let me uh check in check the attendance. Omar, please, Omar, okay. Um, Mustafa. All right. <clears throat> uh, let me start by showing you what we have to do. We are um we have we are supposed to cover today. Um, you can see the announcement for today here. Um, for this week you are working on chapter twelve. And the assignment is test nine, which are due, due in April 2nd. Now we can begin. <clears throat> so um, today we'll be covering, let me make sure you can see this. Okay, so we'll be covering, um, Okay. We're covering operations uh management. Uh to the uh I mean we, we, we're not gonna go deep into operations management. We just cover the part that we need for this class. So we'll be looking at uh the meaning of operations management and then the role of the operations manager, and then there are other things we, we cover, things that um, how operations management relates to the service industry. Okay. So let us uh, begin. <clears throat> so um, simply put, operations management, uh, it means um, managing the operations of a business. That's the simplest way of explaining it, managing the operations of a business. Um, so, what are, uh, why the employers of an organization can focus on specialized area of operations? For instance, things like um, finance and marketing. An operation manager wears many hats and does a bit of everything. So they wear many hats and does a bit of everything. Um, and we'll be looking at those things uh, this morning. So operations, um, I will use throwing a bakery, for example, uh, as an example, as a case in point. So, Running the bakery involves various aspects of operations management, including production, planning, um, inventory management, quality control, uh, customer service. So here's, um, at this point, we're ready to look at uh, how operation management uh, plays out when it comes to the day-to-day -day running of a bakery. So the first thing we're we'll looking at in that regard is the plan production planning. So um, one of the most critical aspects of uh, running a bakery is uh, the production planning part of it. By that, I mean um, how to plan the production schedule to meet customers' demands while maintaining uh, while minimizing waste at the same time. So this kind of uh, planning requires forecasting demand based on historical sales data and adjusting uh, production accordingly. So in other words, an, an effective bakery manager should be able to schedule uh, production in a way that optimizes resources and maintain uh, the downtime. Uh, this leads us to the other um, things that plays out uh, when it comes to the day-to-day -day running of a bakery. 
Uh, the next one we'll be looking at is um, inventory management. So this is very, very, very important and it is critical in a bakery as it involves uh, dealing with perishable goods. So proper inventory management involves balancing the need to have enough ingredients on hand to meet the customer's demand while at the same time maintaining or minimizing waste due to expired or stale products. So this has to be in the, on the mind of the operation manager for the bakery. Bakery managers in, in general, and of course, specifically the op bakery operation managers, particularly in large bakeries that have a you know large number of wholesale accounts. Um, so the, the manager should be able to track inventory levels always. You must track the inventory level. Also identify uh, slow moving items and then adjust purchasing accordingly, which leads us to quality control. That part, that aspect is also very, very important as well because customers want quality products. So in a bakery, quality control is very, very essential to maintain the customer satisfaction and ensure that products meet regulatory requirements, uh, requirements from both the standard organization, health department, and of course, um, uh, the requirements with regard to the working condition as well. So the manager should establish quality control procedures, such as receipt standardization and quality checks to ensure that the final product I mean, it's the final product, which can be bread. It can be bread, a uh, different kind of bread, of course. It can be even cake, um, any other uh, baking or pastry product that they make. So to ensure that that the final product meet customer uh, expectations. Um, then next is the uh, customer service. Uh, which um, in that regard, uh, providing excellent customer service is uh, vital in a bakery. So which, which means that the bakery manager should um, always ensure that the staff is trained to handle customer inquiries, provide uh, accurate information about products and respond to complaints quickly. Customers want response to their questions answered yesterday not today. So that's how fast they want it. Now, then equipment maintenance. In that regard, uh, the battery equipment, such as ovens and mixers, um, need regular maintenance to ensure that they operate eff effectively. So this means that the battery manager should schedule uh, maintenance checks, repairs, and replacement of equipment to avoid downtime and ensure that the bakery runs smoothly. So at this point, you can see that um, uh, operation management um, is uh, intricately uh, intertwined when it comes to the service industry, such as um, well, I won't call it any uh, the uh, the bakery. Let me say the bakery industry. Uh, so I use it as an example to explain to you how it is. This uh, area of business management is very important. Operations have uh, a slice to be involved in it in, in in every slice of all the uh, activities that are carried out to make sure that the business is running smoothly. So, in other words, the effective operation management is crucial in running bakery successfully and in running other type of businesses successfully as well so that uh, a bakery manager should be able to plan production manage inventory ensure quality control provide excellent customer service and maintain equipment to optimize basically to optimize 
the bakery's operations. Any question to what I have said so far? Hello, class. Does anybody have a question to what I have said so far? No, um, I'm good. No, I don't. Okay, good. Excellent. So in that case, uh, we are ready to advance to the next stage, which is um, looking at some of the key terms you will use, uh, you will see under this topic of uh, operation management. So in that case, um, we'll be looking at things like um, production, production, uh, okay, somebody's joining us, uh, Mary. Okay, let me, let me check her in, Mary. For some reason, I have uh, more students attending when we have a remote class than when we have the physical class. I actually showed up in class today and you weren't there. Really? Yes. You didn't get my message? Yeah, I, I thought, I, so I got the reminder first. So I looked at the reminder because I get the reminders, but I didn't see the message that said um, virtual class, but I went all the way to the campus today. Okay, I sent, oh, okay. So are, are you I, I, got, I got the message. I just didn't see it. That's all. Okay. So you went back then? Yeah, I did. Yeah, because last week, um, only one person attended. Uh, Lily, Lily, you are there? Miss Lily, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. So last week, only, only Lily attended. Then the week before that, I think Lily and one other, Lily wasn't, I think Lily and one other person. But today, I'm having almost, uh, let, me see, let me see, one, two, three, four, five people attending. But, but the good things, anyway, uh, I'm glad you all were able to, to come or uh, to come now. So that's good. Uh, Miss Mocha, Miss Mary, can you hear me? Mary, can you hear uh, me? Yes, I can hear you. I hope, I hope you didn't go to, camp, to the campus. No, I saw the message in the morning. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right, let us continue then. Um, that's right. So every time I have it, I uh, the remote class. I have most people showing up. <laughs> I don't know why. So you guys, you guys like like remote classes, eh? No, life is yeah. life. Life is usually just life, and so life and life is better with virtual class. <laughs> Say it again. Life is usually lifing, so virtual class is easier. Oh, it's easy. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, 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 I understand. I understand. You know, you know that. When we started virtual classes, no, it's um, it it wasn't popular like now before, you know, students um want to be in the campus, you know, some then some who cannot afford uh, have issues with being in the campus take online classes, which is hundred percent online. That is not that does not involve virtual, you know, so but majority come to the campus at that time. Now we have that time we have Skype, we have um there are, you know different kind of even this Zoom. But then COVID came. When COVID came and they now move, move most of the classes to virtually, we got in, in all the colleges I teach, we have like almost like 70% uh dropout because students were scared of it. Then but that for some reason after the summer of um 2020. Of 2020, then fall of 2020. For no reason, even students were actually started requesting for virtual classes because it's almost like um uh, uh oh, you're seeing the professor, he's seeing you, you can ask questions, you know. Uh well, I don't know. Anyway, it, but however, I want to make you um make you guys to understand that this class is not really a virtual class, it is uh uh, campus class. So I, I, I'm expecting to see all of you next week in the campus, okay? I'll be there next week. <laughs> okay. All right, let's continue. All right, let's see. Um, so um, we'll be looking at some of the key terms that um, you'll be seeing here as we proceed uh, in the class. Uh, so some of them we have up production, operations, managers, uh, product planning, uh, production control, and then improving production and, and operations. 
So if we look at these key terms here. Um, let's start with uh, production itself. Now, remember that um, production, when it comes to production, it doesn't have to be only uh, physical goods. There are some goods that are intangible, and we also include them in production. For example, a doctor that is uh, treating a patient is actually producing because he is delivering services. Uh, basically, simple way to to this to explain production is that it is the creation of utilities in goods and services when it comes to goods and services. So, uh, also um, um, a barber that is giving you a haircut is also producing uh, because um, it's providing services using their skills. So it, it's giving you something that is that has value. So that question of utilities, well, that, that's what production is. So in other words, um, when it comes to uh, production, we are looking at the creation of products and services uh, that is essential for, you know, for human beings to use, you know. Uh, so it, that aspect of managing operation management is very, very important because it is um, yes, an essential function of every firm. So that uh, production firms uh, turn inputs such as the um, natural resources, raw materials, human resources, and capital into outputs which are products and services. So uh, the process, as you can see, you can see it on this uh, chart here. Let me uh, expand it. When it comes to production, excuse me. Uh, the reason is, okay, good. It's showing better now. So you can see the inputs. Inputs can be natural resources, things like um, uh, ga gas, oil. You know, from, from crude oil, you get, we get gas and, um, Gas, uh, we put the gas we use for driving uh, our cars and the, from the gas we use to heat our homes. It can be agricultural materials like uh, wheat that we use for making bread. It can be food, you know, at, uh, produce like um, any form of agricultural uh, products, including uh, milk, meat. Uh, and dairy products, uh, vegetables, and so on and so forth. It can be it can be human resources. Those that that sell their skills, um, or provide one kind of services or the other. If you go to a place like an MBA to get a driving license or take a driving test, whatever it is, or when you go to school, you are bottom line is that you are getting something. Uh, of value, you are getting something of value from them. So that's why you say that those that provide services are also uh, producing. Now it can be capital, which is wealth that we use to produce more wealth. You know, um. So from that, those we call this and call it inputs, natural resources, small resources, capital, raw materials. Now. During the production process, those things are converted into the product we need. So you go to MVA um, for uh, maybe to apply for driving license or to renew your uh, tag. You are getting something of value. Or you go to the barber shop to cut your hair, or we are uh, to or to the um. Uh, for the ladies, those that make you know fix your hair, they are getting something of value. So the person providing that services is also producing. So during that conversion process, you get you get your hair done, you get your hair cut, or you get the um maybe if you're in business, you now maybe if it is if it is a farm, you get material from the soil. It might be things like food. Uh, maybe um, grains or milk or egg, then you package them, that's, that does your yeah, add value to them, which you now supply to grocery stores. So that, that, during that combustion process, you, those things are made, 
and then they brought them to the grocery store, packaged the meat. Then people want to go there to buy and they're getting sort of value because you exist there to provide those things of value. So that is all this are called, are now called production. Now, if it is something that has to be processed for that, like uh, oil has to be processed to make gas and then uh, on, and, uh, and cooking gas and all that things they need, natural gas, it, it might require an industry. Or if it is something that uh, maybe if it's a uh, wood that can be converted to paper products that can be done during the conversion process, that wood is not changed to paper, which we can now buy as printing paper or exercise books. So all those things are production, okay? Yeah? Which um the uh for the um operation managers, whatever area aspect of the production process that you are involved in, whether it is inputs, whether you are involved in this section, or whether you are involved in this section that involves conversion of those raw materials or capital of more resources to output. And in that case, um, whatever aspect you, that you are involved with, that means you, you, you participate in the production process. So that, um, the managing this conversion process is the role of operation management. But managing the, the whole process of conversion of raw materials to finished goods, and then from there to the those finished goods now reach the customers. So the operation manager have be, is involved in every aspect of it. A little bit of this, they make sure that all these things goes on uh, properly. Okay. Um, now, the person managers, um, as, I have, as I explained in, in a briefly uh, in the previous slide, uh, they are the people charged with managing the uh, managing and support, supervising the conversion process and even the production process as well, and they play a vital role uh, in today's fence. So, in generally speaking, the operation managers are responsible for managing processes, purchasing, accounting, human resources, inventory, and IT when it comes to producing and other aspects of running the business. Now, uh, the operation managers are sometimes we call them the um, the chief operating officer. So, when you, when you you are, you are working for a firm and somebody have that title, you will know that that person is, is the operation manager. It's called the chief operating officers. So they control about three, three fourth of the firm's asset. That means they control about 75% of the company. Uh, you can, you know, it may not even be a company, it may even be a non, non uh, uh non-business, uh, I'm sorry, uh, not-for-profit organization like uh, uh, non-profit or even, a go uh, or even a government agency, you know, can be that. Now, they, um, so they control um, the, um, <clears throat> about a fourth of that, and they also work closely with other major divisions of the firms, such as the marketing, finance, um, uh, we also have the accounting and human resources to ensure that the firm produces its goods profitably and satisfy their customers. Satisfying the customer is a very important because when the customer are satisfied, they open their wallet and then, and then uh, I think I have explained something like this before. Customers actually vote for you, but they're not. The difference is that they're not voting with the ballot papers; they are voting with their their dollars, their money. So when you make them happy, they are always um, willing to open their wallet for you. I'm sure that all of you here are customers of you know in in one in one way or the other to some businesses. And uh, when you go to grocery stores, some people, some of you have choices of the grocery store that they will go to because of the way they 
either the way that they have their customer service works or you know uh if they um they, ha they have what they need at that grocery store and they have it at affordable price and you know or maybe the way the things are run there that, that you are comfortable with it yeah, you become a so you, you are willing to go to those stores and for a reason you might like i say it might be due to customer service it might be due to the 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 prices are you know manageable when I say manageable, that it means affordable. Or it might be that you go there, the way things are around there, it doesn't take you time to find what you are looking for. You choose that you choose make a choice from that uh, uh, to buy from that grocery store. Or you have somebody who make um, who sell wares and you like to go there to that store. They have to, there's a reason why you make those customers make those preferences. And when you look very deep, you see that. To a very long, a large extent, it has to do with how the operations of that companies work. So, because where the operation managers are doing their drilling, doing their jobs, uh, okay, they have a a piece of every action being taken at that at that business. So they they are here and they are everywhere. So they make sure that things are run right. Customers are treated well. They obtain their supply from, um from a supplier that, that make it possible for them to offer uh, those same services at uh, affordable prices, then things, uh, goods are stocked the right way so that the customer can have easy access to them. So all these things in a very large extent um, have to do with operations. I mean, to, you know, um, of course I know that we have human resources uh, department. Operation manager also make sure that what is going on at the human resources department is the proper thing, uh, proper, uh, proper, you know. Uh. So the um, the marketing pers uh, personnel help them decide uh, which product to make or which services to offer, you know. Then accounting and human resources help the operation managers um, face the challenge of, um, you know, combining people. Uh, not only that, combining people with uh, resources to produce uh, high quality goods and on time and also at the reasonable prices. So um, the development of and design of goods and services, um, sorry, the development and design of goods uh, um, also um, help in determine what production process will be most effective. So all these things, um, I guess, uh, uh, the production manager have used their binoculars, whatever it is, to look into all different aspects of uh, what they are doing in the country, uh, company. So they are involved in the development and design of goods. And they are also involved in determining what production processes will be most effective. Um, any questions so far? Any questions? No, sir. Okay, good. Good. Excellent. No question. Good, excellent. Now, um, we can now look at the types of production. Uh, sorry, types of decision we make. Um, uh, you know, the kind of decision that uh, operations managers typically make. There are three of them. Uh, the first one has to do with uh, production planning. Uh, the second one has to do with uh, production control. And the third one has to do with improving production and operations. So uh, I will look at them one by one. Let's start with the first one, which is production planning. Now, um, the first decision facing the operation manager, okay, the first decision they face uh, comes in the form of um, uh, well, well it, uh, the simplest way to put it is that uh, they come at the beginning or at the planning stage. So, so you come at the planning stage, and during that stage, uh, this is the stage where they decide. Um, they decide on. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. This is the stage where they, uh, they start. The operation manager decides where, when, and how production will, will occur. 
So they determine the location and obtain the necessary resources during this uh, uh, production, production planning stage. So very important. Uh, so if the bakery, let's say that even if it's a, uh, let's say that it is a bakery for because I used bakery already. I used bakery already uh, to give, um, you know, an example, a case, as a case, where, um, where would the actual production take place? Okay, let's say that this bakery is that specialized only in making bread and cake. Uh, should we have the same make have the same building for making these two products? Now, um, so you decide where it will happen. When, if you have so many, if you have um, a lot of customers, especially wholesale account mainly in both most well and then um you want to be close to your customers when they come and pick from from the uh, bakery facility since they are all living both most it makes a lot of sense to um you know build a production facility there but suppose you don't have the access to uh affordable uh property they might say, okay, let me get it in Port more County. Then, but we must have a uh, something like a warehouse in Port more City, where it is easy for us to so customers can come and pick up the material. Or if you don't can't, this cannot work. But online, like that you have to figure out a way to make it easy for your customers to get the product at the time they need it. Then, next we now becomes a. Uh, how the production will take place. Who who does what, when and how, you know. Um, then after that, then you can now go to the uh, stage of uh, production control. So uh, the production control, which is the stage, uh, the decision-making process focuses on controlling the quality and cost. Then it focuses on things like scheduling um, <clears throat> and the actual day to day operations of running the, uh, the factory or the service facility. So you have to figure out where to get cheap, cheap flour, because flour is the main thing they use to make, they make bread and, uh, and cake. The other things they need, I'm not, I'm not into bakery business, but I know that they need a lot of um, uh, sugar. Uh, they need a, there's something called baking powder. Uh, then, of course, you have to figure out where to get all these things at a price that after you after you produce with them, you can sell at a, uh, uh, you can sell the, the, to, the, to your customers at a price that will make them happy. Of course, making them happy doesn't mean that you will not make profit. You still make, you have to make it in the way you still make profit by supplying them. And at the same time, uh, also look, know that you, you're not the only bakery in Baltimore or in Baltimore City or Baltimore County. You have competitors. So, competitors. So you have to figure out a way to cut, uh, you know, to outsmart your competition by getting those materials from a uh, source that is cheap, have quality, is cheap, and also, you know, you can make that which can make you to charge a price make that might be a little bit below the what the um yeah competition is charging or even if it's even if it's above them the what are charging then there have to be a reason to justify that is it that their, their, the quality of your bread is much much higher than you know what the competition is making and whatever the show you make you have to figure out a way to satisfy that uh, as to justify it to the to your customers, um, because they have direct cost uh, uh, contact with the uh the actual people who come to the store to buy the product, which leads us to uh improving production and operations. So uh, the, this is the final stage of operations, um, management, as it relates to um the company you are running. 
So uh, this final stage of our operation management, we focus on developing more efficient method of producing the firm's goods and services. Uh, so I have to figure out the, uh, improving the um the uh <clears throat> efficient method of manufacture uh, whether it is a bakery or, or a service actually providing efficient method any method that will satisfy the customers make them happy make them want to um come back because that is maintain maintain is not getting a customer maintain is main job is keeping the customer and usually what keeps the customer is the quality and then of course the service that we provide so um then in this case we are looking only at the improving production and operations so production has something that is quite have quality affordable and of course the um uh, which are accessible to your customers when they want it. So that that is a very important um, role for the operational manager. This, these are the decisions we make: decision about production planning, decision about production control, and decision about um, general uh, improvement of the production process and operations. Now we have only three minutes uh, left. We cannot cover much in three minutes. So um, I would like to time us out now at this point so that we come back. We we'll come back after 10 minutes. We we'll now proceed with operational management in the service industry. I've already said um, bakery is a, not a service industry per se, it's a production industry. So, so we'll, we're looking at it in the service industry uh, when we return from this short break. Any question before we go on break? No. I wanted to talk to you about my research paper, if that's at all possible. Okay, go ahead. Or you, do you want to say it now? or? Uh, oh, it doesn't matter. Uh, um, I had brought it in class today because I wanted to get you to take a little brief look at it because it's only like three pages long. Um, Because I didn't do well on the last one. I wanted to know if this was okay to submit. Or what? <laughs> well, I really don't uh, comment. I only comment on the side when I when I'm grading it. So what I will say is, um, look at the comment I made on the first one. So use it as a guide. Uh, for the second one, I cannot grade. I cannot grade the paper before you submit. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> so look at the comment I made on those first one. I follow that direction. Um, I I made I I took time to grade when I was grading them, to read everything. So I get I made a lot of um, comment for 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 every even even those that have a uh, um scored a high have high score, uh in the papers. They saw yeah, my I didn't, comment. I did not. I was well trying to. Huh? Would I be so, able to resubmit the last one at all if I can get a chance to do it? Or you mean the last one? Yeah. You mean the, the first one then, right? Yes. Okay, the first one. Well, when it comes to that, I usually I usually use attendance as my criteria for second chances. Okay. So if if you can bump it up by coming to you know class from then mm -hmm. uh, then before the end of the when I uh, before the semester ends, I'll look at attendance and see then I will I'll be, I'll be able to give you a better answer. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All, All right. right. Okay, All right. thank you. You're welcome. This will cut us off anytime. Remember, okay. wait for right. 10 minutes and log back in. Okay? Okay. All right. Okay. I also wanted to ask about the same thing, but I'm clear now. All right. All right. All right. Okay. See you then in 10 minutes, huh? Eh?